It's safe to say it's a big hit this summer. Wonder Woman is taking over movie theaters, but as you may know, this female superhero got her start on the written page. So our book and entertainment critic Gwen Reyes joins me live this afternoon for today's Wednesday's read. And we're talking, Gwen, about a book that sort of complements the movie, it right? It absolutely does. It's a great companion for uh, viewers who loved the movie this weekend. I actually got to see it twice. Two times Two now. times I've seen it. Um, and this is called Wonder Woman, the art and making of the film. So it's got lots of pictures from the set uh, following behind Patty Jenkins, who is the first uh, woman to direct the first Wonder Woman movie. This is the first time it's mm -hmm. ever been made in 75 years. Um, she's only the second woman director of any superhero film, and she has now the most uh, a successful women directed film of all time. Good for her. We're hearing a lot about, you know, girl power, women power, mm -hmm. just in the characters and even yeah. the behind the scenes of making the film. So I'm curious to know from your perspective after mm -hmm. reading that book, did you learn something interesting that may surprise people? What I thought was really interesting, and they do a lot, I spent a lot of time taking pictures of them, mm -hmm. is that they actually used for the Amazons real women athletes. Oh, wow. And so all of these extras that were there, they weren't just like models or something. They were actually women they who, were legit. who have trained, who have done, probably lifted way more than I have ever lifted in my entire <laughs> life and it was awesome and so you get a little bit of time you get to have interviews with them um, and basically just kind of following behind the scenes of the production of the film. Interesting how it stays true to the concept and the storyline of the actual I guess comic books narrative and now yep. the actual movie in itself exactly. right and it's very it's just so interesting because they don't it doesn't take place in America which mm -hmm. I thought was a very interesting turn it's all World War one but you spend half of the film with these Amazonian women and they're just so inspiring and wonderful and fabulous and um, it's really cool is that they're actually doing a couple of theaters are doing women only screenings of the film tonight. that's right and you're hosting one of them I aren't am you? hosting one of them over at the Alamo Draft House in Dallas and it's all sold out and this was a big controversy the last couple of weeks because men were very yes, offended. Yes, we know. I'm wondering, do you think that maybe contributed to people actually going out and seeing oh, I the think film? So, of for course, sure. it's a great, you know. It's actually a good movie, but I do think that right. that kind of helps kind of push it. So I think it was an <laughs> unintended consequence from the Alamo Draft House, but that's really cool. Going back to the book for a second, do we hear anything from the superstar herself, the woman Wonder Woman herself? Oh, Gal yeah, they Bido? do have an interesting uh, interviews with Gal in the film mm -hmm. or in the book, um, and I thought that was really great because there's a little bit just more details about her experience and coming into this because we saw a little peek of her in Batman versus Superman, but this is the first time that she's got to anchor yeah, an entire film. This is really eye opening for mm -hmm. a lot of people who aren't familiar with her because, as we've kind I of said, I didn't know anything right, about she's Wonder Woman. She's relatively new onto yeah. the scene, so and she's brand her. new. She was an Israeli um, soldier who then also was a model. Um, all women, all, all people in Isra Israel have to do their time, their two years of uh, military service. So she's out there and she's kicking butt just like everybody else on the film. She has a fascinating story, and we thank you for giving us a little insight on how exactly that movie made it to the big screen with this new book. Yeah. Thank you, Gwen. Thanks, Alicia. Jason. Hey, Gwen, do you host that thing tonight, the women's only thing? I do. What yes. time? It's going to be at 8.30, and um, all the proceeds go to the Genesis Women's Shelter. I took my line. That, uh, we're going to tell you that again here in just a moment. <laughs> uh, so that's happening.